So what's going on behind me here? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we have this great stained glass piece that's part of what we call our core collection. So that's this big floor to ceiling wall that we have in the center of the museum behind us. Um, this we call the, the Peck stained glass. It came from the Horace B. Peck house, which was built in 1892 here in Kalamazoo. And in 1927, it was purchased by the school board to become the museum's first home, uh, which was a home and also our first home. Uh, at the time when the museum and the library started out growing and they said, well, we kind of need a new building, that house was unfortunately demolished, but uh, then that was 1957. But our, uh, the museum's director at the time, Alexis Prouse, saved this stained glass and it was in storage for quite a while because we didn't have the original uh, framing and everything to make sure that it, it was able to be displayed as you see it today. So when this museum was being built, a place was made for the stained glass specifically to go, which you see right here, and the frame was made around it by a uh, staff member who was uh, and is a very skilled carpenter, and he created this framing and also embedded in it some Morse code uh, that many of us don't know actually what the Morse code message is inside. The, so there are messages in those dots and dashes that you can see in the frame of the of the stained glass. So that is the the Peck stained glass. That's a work of art. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.